Hi, this is John, and in this clip, I'll be talking about disconnecting power. Whenever you need to change a saw blade or perform any other type of maintenance on a tool, you always want to make sure you disconnect the power to that tool before you make any adjustments. Now, just checking to see if the tool switch is in the off position is not good enough. If you're performing maintenance on the tool and you accidentally bump that, then you have a good chance of getting injured. Now there's two main ways to disconnect power from your tool. The first one is to locate your tool and trace the cord back to the outlet that it's plugged into and go ahead and unplug it. Now on another tool that we have, we see that it is actually hardwired into our system. So to shut off the power to this tool, we need to locate the proper circuit and flip that to the off position. Then we need to come back and test our tool just to verify that there is no power going to the tool.